This is the book of Mark, chapter 3, verse 25, in the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, And if a house be divided against itself, that how can it, house cannot stand? Let's lock in and read that again. Mark 3 and 25, if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, Christmas words for things sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim. Scat the four corners of the globe, preaching word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And I say shout out one to the Akim out there. And this is another uh, sit down lesson on this Wednesday night at 8 12 p.m., uh, September 14, 2022. As I mentioned before, on this Wednesday night. And this is uh, another news article for In the News. On this uh, September 4th, 14th, 2022, on this Wednesday night. And this is a article from MSN.com. And this was published by Brad Reed. And the highlight of this news article, and it reads, A armed man wearing a rainbow wig said he, he'll restore Trump as President, President King and kill Democrats, police say. And this was on yesterday at 11.06 a.m. from rawstorynews.com and on msn.com. And it says a Pennsylvania uh, Trump supporter has been arrested after he bar barged into a local Dairy Queen so yeah, I think this happened about day before yesterday. So, and inform patrons he was working to restore Trump as President King, while also vows to kill Democrats. And it says the tribe live reports that the 61-year-old Jen Stalva of Hempfield, Pennsylvania, this week walked into a local Dairy Queen carrying a loaded handgun and starting waving it about his undercover work to restore Trump to President King of the United States. Police said that he also would kill Democrats and liberals while also claiming that he needed to be a possession of guns to protect himself from drug traffickers. Local police officers were alerted to Stavros' presence after a tipster called 911 and told them that they just seen a man wearing a rainbow clown wig and a yellow safety vest walk into a Dairy Queen with a gun. It says Pooley Chief TJ Clip Bacart told the tribe live that officers were then within seconds to take control before anything happened. After taking Stavro into custody, police subsequently found two more loaded guns in his vehicle. He had been charged with carrying firearms without a license and disorderly conduct and remain ter terroristic threats. So yeah, man, hey, these are just prime examples as I've brought out the scripture as an introduction of my uh, sit down lesson of the Mark 3 and 25. If a house be divided, how shall it stand? Hey, we got the people on the left hand side and the people on the right hand side, you know, Hey, the people on the right hand side, hey, they want President Trump to be president again in 2024. You know, that shows you that great division, that great divided, you know, between different both groups on the left hand side and the right hand side, you know.
that shows you they still got that great division. You know, they have modern day Babylon as milk uh melting pot. But hey, these the hey, we we'll call these the divided states of Babylon, you know. Cause Babylon goes into confusion, Babal, confusion, you know. Hey, cause all nations are not gonna get along with each other, you know. Yeah, you might have Jake uh kill each other, jack each other up and jacking the other nations up. Hey, you got these Edomites, they can't stand one another on the left hand side and on the right hand side, you know. You know, the ones on the liberal side and the ones on the conservative side. You know, you got Edomites of the same race. You know, they can't stand one another because they don't agree on the same things. One on the left-hand side that support liberalism. And you got the other one on the right-hand side uh, support conserv conservatism, you know. So, hey, that's why Brian got Mark uh, 3 and 25. If a house be divided... How shall it stand? That's why we call this modern day Babylon. Because North America is that modern day Babylon spiritually. Because we see in signs of that according to the scriptures. And these prime examples of, of this new story that I just brought out, you're going to see more prime examples of these in the latter days, you know. And this is another news article that I brought out too. I believe it's from Heavy. Uh, let's see. And this is another guy, another Edomite that was bugged out. Show you that a prime example. They really want Trump to get in office so badly, <laughs> you know. And then you have the people on the left-hand side, which is the liberals. And the ones on the uh, right-hand side of the conservatives. You know, these two different groups of people on the left and right can't get along with each other. They don't agree, they don't agree upon the same things. They don't uh, agree upon the same uh, values of what they believe in, you know. As far as this goes, you know, that division between the two groups on the left-hand side and one's on the right-hand side. That's why you got that great division. And I'm going to bring out that Isaiah uh, 19 and 2, you know. Well, he, uh, Yahweh Shemel Shah, he's gonna, uh, it says in the scriptures, he's gonna set the Egyptian against the Egyptian. Because the modern day Egyptians is these, uh, Babylonians, you know. And this is a news story from heavy.com. Uh, this was published by Tom Cl Cleary, updated on September 13th at uh, September 13th, 2022 at uh, 3.26 p.m. And the highlight of this news article reads from heavy.com. It says, uh, Edgar Lennis Quinn obsessed with Michigan man kills wife and shoots daughter, cops say. They said followers of the uh, corn and awaits the arrival of the U.S. President Donald Trump for a political rally in Morgan San Arena in Walsbury, Pennsylvania on August the 2nd, 2018. So they've been Trump supporters. They have a little, they was awaiting his rally back in 2018. But continue on with the reading moving forward. It says... Edgar Lennis killed his wife and wounded his daughter in a shooting at their Michigan home before he was shot dead by the police on Sunday, September 11th. So, yeah, this was three days ago. A wallet late Oakland County Sheriff official said in a statement his daughter uh, took a social media his daughter took to social media after the incident to reveal he was obsessed with the core and, a, and the conspiracy theories and lost touch he lost touch after former president Donald Trump lost his re-election bid in 2020 Rebecca Lenz which is this is her daughter this is his daughter 
because she said her father had lost it after uh, Trump wasn't reelected back in 2020. Now you got uh, President Joe Biden as president right now. It says Rebecca Lynn said that her father has always dealt with mental health issues. But the things. Oh, so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, to go to work. Yeah. Yeah. When you say they gave him a ticket on the car. Oh, Jay had a car. Mm -hmm. I told me, I told me over 125, got to be on 65 and pay the other half. Right. You know, I used to pay my tickets like that. Yeah. Right. And I ain't got to worry about much of it. Take it back and take it back over in the rock. Yeah. Look. Yeah, she probably still outside. Yeah. Alright, man. Alright, man. So I was. So yeah, I'm gonna read that again. I was talking to my OG. Uh, back to the story. His daughter. His other daughter took to social media after the incident reveals he was obsessed with the core and, and conspiracy theories and, and, and lost his touch with reality after former President Donald Trump lost his re-election bid in 2020. Rebecca Lenz, Lenz if I pronounce the last name right, said that her father has always dealt with mental issues but the things grew worse recently it says uh he has a sense he has a sense of reality but after the 2020 when trump lost he started going down these crazy rabbit holes rebecca lens told the daily beast she added that he was fascinated with the core and conspiracy theory and uh, President Joe Biden stole the election. It's a very big contribute to what happened, she told the Daily Beast. It says according to the sheriff, I mean, according to the Oakland County Sheriff's Office, off, official says, Lance, 53, shot and killed his wife, 56, of T Tina Lindsay, and wanted their 25-year-old daughter, Rachel Lennox, at their Walt, Walt Lake home. He also killed the family's dog, Rebecca, 21, told the Daily Beast she lives at the home, but stays with friends over the weekend it says uh the uh, sheriff's of office said that the lens daughter uh, called 911 after she was shot about 4 a.m in the morning deputies and officials from the walt lake police department arrived at the home and let us exit it with a shotgun and a fire at them. The officers and deputies return fire, killing the lens the shepherd. Mike Barkart says. Aaron Lance shot and killed his wife in, in the back and his daughter in the back and legs as they tried to flee from their home. Sure, official said. So yeah, that's the details about this case right here. Let's lock you. Internet connection. So yeah, that shows you uh, 
Matter of fact, after I bring that Isaiah 19 and 2, I'm going to bring out the second Timothy's. This is the book of second Timothy's. Uh, And this is the book of uh, 2 Timothy, chapter 3, verse 1. This is also, uh, also that in the last days, perilous times should come. 2 Timothy, chapter 3, verse 2. For men shall be lovers of their selves, covetous, boasters, blasphemers, disobedient to parents. I'm thankful and I'm whole. Without natural cause of affection, true place of false accuser and competent, fierce despiser of those that are good. Second Timothy 3 and 4, traitors, hattie, high minded, lovers of pleasure more than the lovers of your heart. Second Timothy 3 and 5, having a form of godliness, but denying the powers thereof from such turn of away. So yeah, I'm going to go back, back into Second Timothy 3 and 1. Yeah. Hey, so in the last days, perilous times should come. And that's what the uh, times that we're living in. Hey, as you see, prime examples like that. As I was reading through that uh, story of this guy, he was a Trump supporter, I believe a hardcore Trump supporter, and his daughter said uh, she took to the social media that her father has lost his man, and he was dealing with mental issues since then, you know, since uh, he lost, since uh, Trump lost the 2020 bid of the election, and they said he, uh, he went berserk. And then after that night, I believe four or three o'clock in the morning, on that September 11th, he said he did the unthinkable from what his daughter was saying. I believe his uh, other daughter had survived the shooting, but he killed his, uh, but his daughter, other daughter survived. But I believe his, he killed his do other younger daughter, and his wife, and his dog. And then I believe he had a shotgun, and he left out there uh, his his house. And then uh, he exchanged fire with the uh, law enforcement, and they shot him and killed him on the scene. So that you know that shows you prime examples of the times that we're living in, you know. But it's these things are going to increase, you know, lawlessness. Uh, the little mini so wax cold you know mark 3 and 25 as I brought that out as well too if a house be divided against itself how shall it stand you know so yeah these uh, peoples that's idolizing these uh, idolizing these uh, figures that's uh take control in the White House and stuff like that of them being the next president, you know. You know, they was worshipping it. They was worshipping this man like he was the most high, which was kind of mind-boggling, you know. Hey, these, uh, these uh, people on the right-hand side that fully support this man, you know, if this man don't get in the, house by, get in the White House by 2024, they'll go berserk, you know. If it ain't, they taking it. Even if they, uh, if it ain't, they uh, be angry towards the people on the left hand side. Best believe, if that's not the case, best believe they gonna be trying to harm themselves and their family as well too. 
So yeah, man, you know they take this uh they take they take that very seriously, you know. As you seen those two stories right there I just brought out. The first story is over there in Pennsylvania. The guy was uh waving a uh a, a, a pistol in his hand as he entered the Dairy Queen and he was equipped uh, with a wig on his head a, 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 I believe a red a wig, clown wig and he had some type of vest on and the authorities say he had like two or three loaded Glock pistols in his car or something like that and he was saying that he, he wanted to restore President Donald Trump as being president so you know, hey, these are the these are the times that we're living in. Hey, these just are prime examples for what's about to come. Don't let me get it started. <laughs> Don't let me get started about what before what 2024 uh, uh, about to hit. Then you got the midterms elections coming as well too. Then you got this uh, Scrikers, uh, I believe uh, Scrikers of the train station and you had the recent striking on the uh, teachers striking on the nurses so it's a lot of many different things going on in these latter days you know but back to the main story at hand as uh, you see i brought out those two news article that matthews uh i mean that mark 3 and 25 if a house be divided against itself how shall it stand because you're going to see more prime examples like this you know these people that's uh, Trump fanatics, hey, they gonna take it to a whole nother level if this man don't win the White House in 2024, you know. And if he don't run for 2024, hey, you never know, they might go berserk, man. Hey, they, they might put all their uh, anger on the people on the, on the left-hand side. And if that's not the case, they might harm themselves and their own family, you know. So, yeah, these are the dangerous, uh, serious times that we are living in. Even though we're so used and accustomed of hearing these things, but how the way they take it to a whole another level is just, you know, it's mind-boggling. It's crazy, you know. So, these are the uh, serious times that we are living in, you know. And it's going to increase more and more and more. Uh, lawlessness is going to increase. The love of many shall wax cold is going to increase. A nation get a nation that's divided against itself. How shall they stand? That's going to increase. Isaiah 19 and 2. I will set the Egyptian against Egyptian. More violence is going to incur between both sides, you know. Or people that's within the same race of their nation or outside of their nation is going to have clashes between on both sides, the left hand side and the right hand side. Even though Yahweh Hashem Al Shai controls both, even though he's more with the right hand side, because the Heavenly Father, he's a just balance. You know, he's a just power. You know, like the scripture says, he formed the light, he create uh, good, and he create evil. Uh, the, the power of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, he's the one that does these things, you know. And I'm bring out Isaiah 19 and 2. Well, you have my Shemel Shai going to have the Egyptians against the Egyptians. And this is the book of Isaiah. <laughs> I remember a while back, uh, another prime example. It was, uh, I believe, it was before Donald Trump was about to be president or whatever. Or it was during the time that he was, uh, they had like some type of, uh, you know, you know, when the, the debate that happened in 2017 and 2018, um, I believe it was uh, his two guys, uh, it was his two, it was two brothers was arguing over uh, is Trump going to win or not, or Joe Biden going to win, Trump going to win, and then one brother got angry at the other brother. They had it to an uh, extremely heated argument, and he killed his brother over about who's going to win during that time, 2017 or 2018, when they had that presidential debate. So you're going to have more things that are starting to increase once again. Once the election comes around again, when that election time comes around again, around in uh, 2024, 
around in that time. But, you know, even though that's in the near future, but you know, the, the as I just stated about the two brothers was going at it with each other as they had a, uh, they had a heated debate between if Trump going to win or Trump going to lose. So one brother killed the other brother over that extremely heated uh, conversation. And these these are just prime examples of what's about to come in the near future. And these are things that are going to increase. And this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 19, verse 2. And I will set the Egyptian against the Egyptian. People on the left-hand side, on the right-hand side, within the same race, but represent uh, two different organization groups. One on the left-hand side, one on the right-hand side. And they shall fight against one another. His brother, as I showed the prime examples, a heated debate of people within their own household got into a heated argument. The one brother killed the other brother. You got to see that increase as well, too. And everyone against his neighbor. Because when the times are come, the times of uh, Jacob's trouble, because Jacob's trouble, that's going to be coming as well, too. That's, be, that's prophesied that's going to happen to it, Jacob's trouble, you know. And everyone against his neighbor and against city and kingdom against kingdoms, right? You're going to have different kingdoms going against one another, different nations against one another, different uh, family members of their own household uh, outside of your race, nations going against one another, different kingdoms and different cities, you know. So these things are definitely going to increase in the latter days, you know. Because the modern-day Egyptians is these uh, modern-day Babylonians here in uh, North America. Because this is uh, spiritually uh, modern-day Babylon, according to the Holy Scriptures. So you're going to see that great division between people within their own race that represents a different organization group on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side as well, too. So, a hey, these are just prime examples of what's about the uh, about the uh, increase, you know. Not just only here in North America, but around the world as well too. You're gonna see that continual division between the nations, even though they might have a little some moment of uh, peace and prosperity, you know, and all that. But the tension is gonna increase more and more and more between the nations, people of their own household, neighbor against neighbor, city against city, kingdom against kingdom, you know, these things are going to increase, like the upworlds of the people in the world with the recent protests, you know, the increase of uh, wars and rumors of wars, you might have times of uh, ceasefires, peace agreements, but it's going to increase more and more between the nations of different uh, kingdoms as well too proxy wars, commotions of wars wars and rumors of wars nations are rising up against one another city against city kingdom against kingdom neighbor against neighbor, brother and this brother so these things are going to increase more and more and more you know as I brought out 2 Timothy 3 and 1 because I also know in the latter days uh, perilous times should come and those perilous times are definitely approaching and we're seeing it right now you know, right in front of our eyes, and it's gonna uh, definitely increase more and more and more, you know. <clears throat> and I'm gonna look up the definition of a uh, perilous. Yep, perilous. And after I finish looking up the yep, iniquity, iniquity, immoral, or grossly unfair behavior. Yep, iniquity is a noun, cruel iniquities. A immoral or grossly unfair behavior, a dense iniquity, a liberal lawyer could uncover iniquities committed on his own doorstep, a middle language or old English, the origin of iniquity from Latin, iniquos, iniquitos, from iniquos, from in and out, awkward, equal or just, right, so a lawlessness is going to continue on 
unmoral, grossly unfair behavior that's going to increase. And I'm going to look up a uh, little oh, parallel shit. They kind of lost my man for a second. <laughs> so I can't I was watching baseball again. But, um, yeah. So the definition, definition of perilous, perilous is syn synonyms for perilous adjective involving or for grace, grave risk or peril, hazardous danger. A perilous voyage across the Atlantic in a small boat. You know, this is other words for perilous, risky, or unsafe. Right, because we're going to live in those times when perilous, uh, pending danger, unruly, gross behaviors, uh, love of many wax of cold, spirits that are created for vengeance. So we're going to see these things continuously, you know. You know, matter of fact, since I mentioned it, I'm going to bring out Matthew's uh, 24 and 12. This is the book of uh, Matthew 24 and verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, as I brought out the definition of iniquity, unrolling, immortal, unfair behavior. You're going to see that increase in the latter days as well. It's too lawlessness, the love of many wax cold towards one another. You're going to see these things. Uh, Increasing now more than ever, you know. Uh, Matthew's 24 and 12. Bring it out again for edification's sake of this lesson. And because of iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Right? Because the love of many is going to wax cold. And it's going to increase more and more and more. You know, now more than ever. So with that, I hope this... Uh, lesson was edifying through the spirit power grace and mercy of Yahweh Yahusha and first and foremost I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor too to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah Bahashem Wakakadash double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone Christmas word truthfully and sincerely and shalom on to the Aki scattered through the four corners of the globe Christian word truthfully and sincerely and shallow unto the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird preaching the word truthfully and sincerely and until next time I will say uh shallow and the ball ball ball